Thanks, speaker is the professor of history from the Tsinghua University. I think today you gave us a very interesting talk. Uh, how is uh, AI can connect with uh, education? Uh, some AI practice uh, for Gaokao, which is a college country exam in China. So, yeah, kind of uh, very interesting. <laughs> Okay, let's welcome Professor Chu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm Shi from Tsinghua University. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the knowledge graph construction for the trans K twelve education. During these two days, many professors mentioned that knowledge graph is very important uh, to the expandable AI, but where does the knowledge graph come from? And especially in a concrete domain, you need to construct the knowledge graph for the domain. And today, I'm going to talk about the knowledge graph construction for the transcript and k education. And uh, I think here everyone knows uh, <laughs> uh uh, Gaokao is the national information to enter the Chinese colleges. Uh, maybe here some uh, foreign uh, people know, uh, think it's very interesting that uh, in China, uh, which university you should go, it just depends on uh, this test. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, only once. Uh, you only have once uh, chance. And actually, it's a, a kind of uh, to test the human uh, intelligence. Then. At the year of uh, 2014, uh, a project funded by the Ministry of Science and Technology China uh, to start the uh, project Gaokao, robot. Uh, the basic idea is to test the human intelligence uh, through these robots. The official from the Ministry of Science and Technology thinks that uh, this Gaokao can test a uh, human intelligence. And can it be used to test machine intelligence? <laughs> so that's a very uh, simple idea. But, but, but uh, uh, finally, the the, the Dovisu decided to do that. And the goal of the Gaokao robots is to achieve the score as the top twenty Beijing student. So uh, we uh, <laughs> for Why we pick uh, Beijing? Uh, uh, city because in China, uh, different province or, uh, has the different questions uh, about in the Gaokao. Uh, maybe uh, many people say that uh, the, the, the questions in Beijing is simpler, uh, but, but we don't think so. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, there are uh, nearly twenty universities involved in this uh, uh, project. Uh, here I, I list the framework of Gaokao uh, robots. There are four uh, layers. Uh, the first layer is that uh, we need to build a K-Traf knowledge graph. And the uh, second layer, we need to research on the knowledge understanding and reasoning. And the third layer, there are four question-solving systems for four uh, subjects, including history, geography, trans language, and uh, elementary mathematics. And on the fourth uh, layer, there are there's a system to evaluate the cognitive intelligence of machine for the elementary education. And as we know, the knowledge graph uh, is the network of entities and relationships. And it includes many, many triples. And Google firstly uh, used a knowledge graph to support its smart searching. Then uh, we, we decided to build uh, the knowledge graph for the k traffic education. Uh, before we did that, there are several uh, challenges for us. The first one is the, about the accuracy. Uh, the, that means the content in the KEG uh, must be accurate. So uh, we decided to rely on the, uh, uh, the raw data from all the Chinese uh, textbook and and we also asked the high school teachers to help us to check the, 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 the contents. And the second challenge is that we need to uh, cover all, all the uh, subjects of the Chinese elementary education. Uh, 
So we need to expand the set of its precision, and we need to improve the efficiency of the knowledge graph construction. And the third challenge is uh, fully coverage of all the knowledge points uh, in terms of the cost standard of MOE, the Ministry of Education. Uh, as we know that uh, there is no MOE in the United States, but in China, uh, we have the Ministry of Education to manage it. The, all the co contents of the textbook, okay. Uh, so uh, then we, we have to build the not uh, concept system and category system according to the the, uh, the core standard, and we need to reach uh, concept and insects. And the first step, we we collect all the Chinese textbook uh, from the press in China. Uh, as we know that the number one. Uh, the press for text uh, for printing textbook is the uh, People's uh, Education Press, and the second one is the Beijing Normal University Press, and maybe the third one is Shanghai uh, Education Press. So we collect all the textbook from the grade uh, grade one to grade twelve, and in and the nine subjects: uh, mathematics, Chinese, and, and geography. Uh, blah blah. Then we totally we have uh, the, the, the 1,320 textbook. And then we also get uh, more than one, uh, 10,000 books from the National uh, Library uh, because uh, many students need to read the books just uh, besides textbook, they, they, they need to read. So we also collect uh, these, these books. And we uh, design a pipeline for the uh, uh, K traffic technology construction. The first step is that we, we need to manual construct uh, each or project for the for, for each subject. And then uh, we digitalize all the textbooks and we get the digital resource and, uh, and then we do the after we do the cross sourcing uh, cross sourcing then we can get annotated uh, data. And based on this data we can generate the, 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 the knowledge. Uh, besides the, the, the knowledge from textbook, we, will, we will also uh, get knowledge from the internet data. Uh, for the unstructured data, we need an uh, algorithm to extract the knowledge from it. And for the structured data, we need to do the complex mapping. Finally, we get three kinds of the knowledge, and we need to do the knowledge fusion. Finally, we get an uh, interdisciplinary knowledge graph, and then we can do MBT link, and we can start it and index it. And we can also uh, implement a, a, a very direct, uh, direct application, just a question answering uh, for the K-Trap education. And to, we also develop some system to support this K-Trap uh, KG construction. We have the resource management system, semantic annotation system, and knowledge display system, and knowledge management system, and the knowledge quest transmitting system. And we also are research on the uh, algorithm about entity link, knowledge construction, information extraction, and uh, knowledge fusion. Then, this what we got uh, for the, the K draft uh, knowledge graph. Uh, finally, we got uh, more than 1,000 classes and 1.8 million instances and, and 23 uh, million uh, triples. And for each subject, we have the annotating uh, library, and also we have the external library. And this is the statistics of the, the triples, the triples. Now I'm going to show you the, uh, the knowledge graph of each subject. Here is the visualization of the, uh, the knowledge graph of, of ge geography, and you can see that uh, several instances are uh, has many connected with other instances. So the top ten uh, entity with the number of the resources is that like yeah, in geography, China, Asia, Africa, Europe, Europe, uh, they have many connections with other other entities. And for uh, here is the the the, the relationship of the uh, instance uh, China. Uh, it has uh, uh, 11 kinds of uh, uh, relationship, and here is the number of each relationship. And here is the uh, mass notch graph uh, for the uh, the training education. And 
Now, here it is the, the, the uh, entity with top 10, top 10 number of uh, relations. Uh, for example, a uh, line, one, void, and uh, function. And here's the, the, the Chinese literature not graph. And this is the, the list about the top 10 uh, entities. And by origin. Uh, we can see there are many, many isolated uh, entities on this, in, in, in this, in this map. And, okay, chemistry, many isolate, many, many isolate uh, uh, entities. And English. And, okay, history, history. And politics, politics. And, uh, physics, physics. So you can see ma uh, the, the, the map, uh, the graph are different. And finally, we try to find the, the connections between different subjects. Uh, so uh, here, just list some uh, entities that can connect the, the uh, different subjects. Okay. Based on the knowledge graph, uh, the other university of, of, of this project just replacement the uh, robots. So we only have four subjects. Here's the Chinese and math and history and geography. And so finally, here is the score that they got last year. Uh, just input the, 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 the question of Gaokao, uh, Beijing Gaokao last year. You can see that uh, for Chinese, uh, they got the 84, uh, and math, math uh, uh, did uh, very well, and got 128, and history is about 60, <coughs> 63, and geography is about 58, 58, so, uh, so all few. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. No, his goal is again. Yeah, yeah. The goal is to uh, the the goal is to reach the top twenty. That means in Chinese that is a yi ben xian. So you need to enter the yi ben xian. But but right now you can see that uh, finally uh, we can only get achieve the. the Beijing Wen Ke Gao Gao Harvest. Yeah. Okay. So there are. Uh, what? Yeah. Why did better in math than Chinese? Yeah, <laughs> 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 math is true trivial. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, for <laughs> math, yeah. the machine proof of math have been researched for more than fifty years. Yeah. So when you can translate the the question to a logic expression, then but, but, but that, that's tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Such, yeah. Yeah. When you translate, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the actual people have to translate. Yeah. Some of them fail to translate, so they're kind of soft. Mm. If you were translating to symbol, you solve it. That's not quite. Uh, so that in math, then you need to use the NLP technologies to 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 translate the the, the question to a, a logical expression. And when you get a, a logical expression, then then the I know, but, but what it means is that's not a real. That's not what a real person. That real student has to translate. Some of them fail to translate. It. That's why you can't solve it. <laughs> why should translate it? Because it, does not seem to make sense if your machine does it so poor in Chinese. We just memorize it. That's a good question. Because uh, in when you look at the question of math, that uh, they are limited to uh, an area or, or the description is limited. So mm -hmm. it's easy. More special. Right? Yeah, more special science to, to, to translate uh, to the logical expression. Yeah. But for the Chinese, that I think very wide. Yeah. Can you actually use a machine to create an examination question? Create question? Yeah, I don't know. You can do this kind of with the camera. Uh, uh, right now, we think we just uh, we just need to solve the question, not generate the question. But that's that, that's like AlphaGo, right? The, what yeah. you should really do is the machine can actually answer the question, but the machine can also create a question and let them to complete. And then you uh, completely destroy the Gaokao system. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they have. A, uh, I think they have a lot of uh, database for storing many, many questions. Yeah, you, you can create because you know yeah. you, you can do it as a very attack, right? You both play. 
Well, one, one is proposed, one is a, the, uh, one's answer, right? It's going to be... The knowledge graph for maths is a lot closer than other knowledge graph. Uh, it depends on the... the because your... Yeah, at least your... I, I, I have another question. Yeah. It depends on the relationship you define. So we define some... Uh, in maths, we define a kind of uh, relationship uh, that means that most related to... So then maybe one... One rule is related to some entities. So then we can so is it because your your knowledge graph is better for maps? Uh, so yeah. yeah. But have you used any kind of reinforcement learning technology? Uh, no, I don't think. So. Why not? But, but I think in because uh, you know that uh, this is a very big project and many universities are involved in it. And uh, for example, for the trial solving is led by the Harvard Institute of Technology. So they are, uh, I think in, deep, uh, in, in the concrete class, they may use the rainforest penny. For example, uh, uh, for, the, for the reading comprehensive, maybe they use it. Yeah. So how does it do in this uh, long, uh, I say, part of the Chinese story? Oh, yeah, so the, the, uh, one, okay, they got nearly, uh, just, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I so, you can see that, uh, Gokalova also has a long way to achieve this goal, so, uh, I, I know that you are very, uh, interested on it, but, uh, it is not so easy, and, uh, this project uh, will last uh, to the end of uh, the year 2022. So, uh, we will hope to Okay, thank you. That's all. Yeah, so we have asked many questions, sir. More questions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you talk about the, the math problem, um, translated the language into logic expression, yeah. right? So is this automatically by template or by some natural language understanding algorithm? Both. Oh, both. That, that's why it says it's cheating. Both. <laughs> 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 it's very <laughs> <It's laughs> <really silly. laughs> yeah, It's very really difficult, actually. Right. Yeah, yeah. They, they, uh, they okay, utilize the technology of, uh, of language okay. translation to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so how about that. the geometry? Can we? If you do the... <laughs> yeah, I think it geometry should be higher. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's impossible. Th this problem is not solved or, or not uh, in this uh, project. The, for the, the geometry, that, uh, we need people to, to look at the picture and then uh, and get the right the results uh, to, to tell the machine. So especially, not, <laughs> mathematics is not a special one. The special one is the ge uh, geography. Yeah. So oh, in geography, you have to okay, see many, 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 many maps. So right now, the, the, the machine can uh, read it correctly. So that's uh, based on uh, human's uh, effort. Yeah, but that's a little bit cheating, isn't it? Yeah. The figure, the yeah. text, the yes. Text, yes. Text, the text. That's right. Uh, okay. I think your approach is very much along the line of the RBM Watson, right? In a kind of a approach. Uh, Not really too much. I think uh, uh, IBM, IBM, so IBM yeah, Watson is similar. more complicated. Yeah, yeah. But you, you along the same approach, right? Is the logic reasoning based on logic graph. Mm -hmm. But I feel is, uh, you know, if you really go into the... Another thing I don't understand is in the mathematics, right? A lot of knowledge is hierarchical. But uh, you, you just presented in the knowledge graph, which is kind of lost to the structure. Mm -hmm. But would it be interesting to thinking about a more sort of structured knowledge representation rather than just the knowledge graph? Because a lot of the uh, mathematic concept is very structured. So uh, right now for the mathematics subjects, that uh, the difficulty is that uh, you need the common sense knowledge graph. And also have structure, right? Yeah, yeah. If you know the linear algebra, you can actually divide it into a pretty much tree-like structure. Mm -hmm. It's not just simple related.
from Apple, another question about the construction of this uh, economic graph. So you have uh, so many documents here, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, and it's a big project, and uh, you talk about they have those uh, human labor to do this, and also some computer algorithms. How do you think, what's the percentage of this companies? Uh, how can you really, it can really help us to build up this uh, knowledge graph in this project? So at the beginning, I think we need more uh, human labor to get uh, uh, the concrete contents. All those concepts, all yeah. those uh, ontology and those yes. Yes. This is it's possible to the algorithm can help us to automatically identify all those uh, concepts. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because uh, 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 you can uh, construct uh, the, the ontology, and you can just ask the, the expert, the domain expert, for example, the, the teachers of the high school can help you to check it. But if you use your uh, algorithm to construct the ontology, you also need the, the, the expert to check it. I think because it's the basic of all the knowledge graph, so it must be very accurate. Thank you. So that's uh, our uh, so, uh, next speaker will be uh, Professor uh, Hadou Liu from the Chinghua University, and uh, Hadou is also my colleague uh, in the Center of uh, Statistical Science. So, Hadou, today we will talk about this uh,